Hey guys, Zero here again, and uh, I've got another unboxing for you. Uh, this is another uh, model kit, um, another robot, giant robot, so to say, or mecha. It's not a Gundam, but it's made from the same company, uh, Bandai. I'll show you guys really quick. This is from the Full Metal Panic uh, series. It is the ARX-7 plus the, a the XL-2. It's the uh, ARX-7 Arbalest uh, version 4 with the XL-2 booster pack. So, pretty cool looking little kit. We're going to pop this open and take a look. Um, picked it up on eBay for about $34, $34, something like that. So it's pretty pricey for a high grade kit. Um, but I do, I, I don't think it's the quality of a high grade. I believe it's a little bit higher uh, between a high grade and a master grade, but you guys will see in a second. We'll take it to the table and take a look at all the parts trees and see. You guys can see for yourself what you think. Um, but let's get over to the table and check that out. Sit tight. take a look at the high grade RX-7 plus XL-2 the Arbalest version 4 with the XL-2 booster pack from Bandai in from the Full Metal Panic uh, anime and this is the 160th scale so it's not really a great big kit um, I guess because in the in the show that the kits are not or the the, the robots aren't that big uh, not Gundam big they're, they're smaller like Pat Labor big um, if you know what Pat Labor is it's the side of the box um, there is detail uh, in English on the box in you know um, describing all these parts and stuff but um, that's really small. If you guys want, I can. You guys can pause that there. If you want to read that. The same art on the cover. And there's a picture there of pretty much how big it is. So yeah, you can see it's not as big as, like I said, the Gundams. Um, that's pretty cool. This is actually a pretty hefty kit uh, for a high grade. Um, and I'll show you what I mean. One second. And this is a high grade Gundam Gushion kit. So they're about the same length but definitely thicker box um uh, this one was more expensive almost twice as much as this one so you're getting you are getting a lot in here and you guys will see that in a second first pretty much the same as the cover art I got some color picks just like the Gushion instructions so it seems like uh, the new instructions from Bandai are starting to come in this in this fashion but then it also and you've got that page there kind of putting the weapons together and stuff and then you've got the full the full on black and white instructions not too bad and there's the back a lot of technical stuff there one of the first sprues here this is the 
XL2, I want to say, XL2, yeah, the XL2 booster. Now, I don't know anything about Full Metal Panic. Um, I'm not familiar with the show, I'm not familiar with the story, the characters, the mechs, none of it, but I have seen some of them online, some of the robots on eBay and stuff like that as I was looking for something. Um, so that's about as much as I know. They all look the same to me. Um, they actually look very similar. Um, maybe just different color schemes or different weapon packages, but they pretty much look like the same style of, of robot. I, and I, I don't know, again, I don't know anything about them. But I got this one because I was looking for a kit that had kind of like the Gundam Seed Strike Gundam with the Ale Strike package, you know, where it's got the wings and the boosters and the backpack. I wanted something like that, so I, I picked this one up. And I thought, you know, it looked really cool. And the, the kit comes primarily in gray. And the way they painted it on the cover, same thing, it's like gray. So I was definitely thinking, you know, of doing this. This is going to be a custom paint job. And I was definitely thinking about doing something with an Air Force kind of theme. Uh, you know, uh, something definitely militaristic, more militaristic than, than, than what it is in the anime. I don't know the anime again, but... Um, We've got a series of double sprues here, and I'll show you guys that in a second. This looks like more of the booster sprue. And it's in a light gray, like a like a stone gray almost. And we've got double sprues here. They're the same. It's identical. I apologize. So this kit, in my opinion, has a ton of parts, like, to me, way more than a high-grade kit. Um, here's another duplicate. Again, I believe these are the boosters uh, parts. There we go. Yeah, it looks like parts for the boosters. It's got those, like, they look like fuel tanks, like the old F-16 fuel tanks, you know. And it's got that kind of vibe, though, the whole vehicle does, you know. One of the weapon sprues looks like a shotgun. I'm not really sure. Kind of looks like a shotgun, but it could be just a rifle. I don't, I don't know. There's a folding stock, it looks like, or something. Something like a, like a grayish brown, like really weird color. And here we have polycaps. And there's real polycaps. So I'm sure there's a lot of connection points. But like I said, this, this kit has way more parts than most normal high-grade kits. Which, I mean, I'm okay with that. Um, I just feel like this should probably be better. Or a better classification than high-grade. But, I mean, we'll wait and see once we put it together what... Uh, what the results are and how much you know detail they put into this kit and articulation. Now here we have another set of double sprues. Uh, they're just copies of each other. And this is like a tannish gray, like a like a it's gray but it's got like a tan hue to it. And I don't know I don't know what this is. I mean it looks like it could be an arm or a thigh, I, I have no clue. And I apologize for my lack of information on these kits. Um, I just, like I said, I was looking for some kind of kit with a wing booster system and I wanted to paint it in an Air Force style. So this one came up and I was like, you know what, let me take a look at them. And uh, I went with this one. I wanted something different looking from a Gundam. You know, these are like again the light gray parts. I don't know if these are for the booster or for the the suit, because you know, the suit has a lot of gray parts too. 
and I've seen this this kit, like this this design on other kits uh, that are multicolored. Like some are blues. There was one that was red and white, and it had like a ponytail. I, I don't know what that was about. I mean, I'm sure it's not real ponytail, but you know, I, it did have like flowing blonde hair. I don't know what that meant. Special character or something or something like that. So this again is a light gray sprue. Another grayish, dark gray. gray. A little bit of tinted brown in there. A little bit. And this looks like more weapons. So there's like a knife, a combat knife, a sheath, a submachine gun or a machine rifle or beam rifle or whatever it is. It looks like it's a magazine, so it could be a regular rifle. There's some hands there. Uh, parts like that. I don't know what the rest are. But you can see the hands there. I like the gimme hands grabbing in the, the grab hands for the weapon. And there's a little weapon. It's like a bullpup. And there's a sheath with the sword or knife. And I do believe this comes with a piece that attaches to the suit. You can actually put the knife in the mouth. It looks like it's holding it in its mouth. Another brownish gray part. Let me take a look. Yeah, they're the same color. Pretty much the same color. So there's not a lot of color in this kit, but there is color variation, which is good. I don't know what these parts are. Frame parts or looks like a bipod. But as you can see, there is a ton of parts in this kit. This is not this no slouchy kit, you know. previous kit that I showed you guys, or that previous part that I showed you has a duplicate. There's the second one. We got this one here, another uh, grayish tan. I'm really liking the amount of detail in this kit. Like I said, I don't, it doesn't have an inner frame like a master grade. And here we have like a black, like a blackish brown sprue. Um, I don't know what any of this is. Oh, I know what this is. This is actually the action base. This is, which was one of the cool things about this kit. So, okay. I bought this kit off of eBay. And I noticed that there were other kits, the same type, you know. And I found this one for $30. Now, I've been looking online and I've noticed that a lot of these are in the 40s and 50s these kits these uh, full metal panic kits so I got this one from for $30 plus like I said it came with the booster set and it came with the action base Num this is I guess action base number five which is cool i um, been waiting to get an action base I was gonna pick one up myself but I just haven't done it I've been waiting to get an action base just to see how they work um, and see the, the quality of it. Uh, here, I'll put this in here. You can see it a little better. You can see the parts a bit better. Um, but I wanted to see how, I mean, a lot of people swear by these, you know, for posing and stuff. And since this is a flight unit, I think it's really cool that it came with its own base for that. You know, so you can you can pose it flying and stuff like that. I think that's a really cool thing, you know. And again, I don't have any, and I wanted to get some for a couple of different models. Um, but I have planned to build. And now I'll know. I'll be able to find out. And it does come with stickers. Um, it has some foil stickers. Not a lot, though. There's the eyes. It looks like a mouthpiece, and then some other... Two big square pieces so four stickers all together which is really cool that's that's I like that because then that means you know I'm not trying to cover up a lot of uh, color errors you know um, again I will be painting this kit this is gonna be a custom paint job um, so for me you know decals and stuff that really I mean, it's cool, they have it, and I just wanted to show you guys that it did come with decals, but it doesn't matter to me because I'm gonna 
like I said, I'm going to repaint it. And if it really comes down to it, what decals present it, I can paint that in. Like around the eyes and stuff like that. Like the green for the eyes, I didn't see any cl clear green plastic parts. So I might just paint those in a metallic green. Because if I don't have to use a sticker, I won't use a sticker, you know. Um, but there you go. That is the um, Bandai's Full Metal Panic High Grade. ARX7 Arbest plus the XL2 uh, booster with flight base. Um, pretty cool kit. Uh, is it worth 50, 60 bucks? I don't know. I mean, it's definitely worth 30 to me, um, but I don't know if it's worth the, its full price. Um, that would be up to the buyer, I guess. Um, but we'll see once it's done. When I once I put it together, and I'll do a full review on it after that, um, so you guys can see if it's worth your time to invest in something like this in a kit like this um but as always guys like share subscribe um you can join me on the tabletop dungeoneers discord server we've got a lot of different people on there i'll put the little guy right there he'll be right there um and we've got a lot of different people with a lot of different talents mostly gamers and dungeon masters and stuff like that but there are a lot of other crafters and things like that there's builders i'm on there uh, and i love gundams and i love building model kits and you know rc cars and stuff like that so come check us out tell them zero sent you um also if you're interested in dungeons and dragons and all things role-playing we have a live show on friday nights called D, D after dark um i'll put the link for the channel in the description below you can check us out there come live chat with us friday nights from 9 p.m central to midnight um uh, we'll be on there we'll be talking about all things dungeons and dragons we also have a an email address, uh, the tabletop dungeoneers at gmail.com. You can send us an email there if you have any suggestions for the show, um, if you have any concerns, you have questions you want answered live, uh, if you want us to give a shout out, go on ahead and send us an email. You never know. Um, we just might do it. Um, if you get a chance, check out my buddy Rod's channel. His channel link will be in the description below as well. His uh, channel is uh, Thaco Factor on YouTube. He does a lot of Dungeons and Dragons lore, uh, some pretty cool monster lore. He goes really in depth, and he's got a lot of experience going way back to the original Dungeons and Dragons and Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. So he's got a lot of lore under his belt. So check him out. Tell him Zero sent you. Like, subscribe, share to his channel. Um, and he's also starting to do some crafting videos, which is really cool because you know. A lot of old schoolers starting to get into the new crafting and tiles and stuff like that. He's got some very cool videos. So check him out and tell him Zero sent you. All right, guys, as always, thank you for watching.